So in this video, we will discuss about access specifier. So first of all, what is access specifier? So it will define the access level of class, variable, and method. Okay. So um, and uh, class should be public or global. So I will tell you like uh, why should be class public and global. So this is one class. Okay. So this class should be public or global. Okay. So if you try to so it will say successfully public and global only it will accept accept the class public or global Let's try to save now so if you try to uh, change to any other thing other than that like a private or productive means uh, it will throw the error okay so but must be public or global visibility okay so, um, and uh, so this is a class level. So, in the variable level, we can able to declare public, private, protected, and global. So, we can able to declare these four, anyone we can, anything we can able to declare. And method also, we can able to uh, declare four things. Uh, like I will tell you, this one is the public, this is private, variable, we change it, variable name. Uh, yes, three. Okay. And global. Yes, four. Save it now. So now you can able to save it successfully. Similarly, we can able to create the four level of variables we can able to create. Similarly, we can able to create the four level of method we can able to create, like a public, private, uh, protector, and global. But the class level should be public and global only. Okay. So if you uh, create the with the private anything, if you create a method or variable. Okay. So this one is the private. If you declare as a private, then we can able to access only within the class only. We can able to access. So first find. Okay. So uh, we cannot able to access any other class. So if you create the object also, so like if you are try, trying, you have created one object for this one, F1 equal to new of this one. So if you created the uh, F1 also, object also, you cannot able to access that particular method. I will save this one. And the method name is Yamar. I am trying to call here. So now you will get like a method is not visible. So like that you will get the exception. So if you try to access private method or variable into another classes, okay? And second type is the public. So public means you can able to access uh, anywhere. Anywhere in the FX class you can able to access. So in the names, within the namespace, we, you can able to access. So if I save to public, then you will you can able to access. So save it now. You can see now successfully saved now. Okay. So now we have seen public and private. So global means uh, anywhere, anywhere in the with, without uh, irrelevant of the namespace, you can able to access. So global is like a whole access. So better. Uh, we need to use the public only we need to use public or private so because the security will be very low if you use the global so instead of avoiding that we can able to use public private we can able to use okay so if we um, the, like integration scenarios we will use mostly in the global level access we will use and last one is a product so if you declare a product there, then we need to extend if we extend then only we can able to access that's extend that particular class we need to extend uh, this is one class we are extending to this class this is a child record this is a parent record. so if we use if we extend then we can able to access the protected uh, class we can able to access okay so these are the four four types like a private we can able to access inside the class only we can able to access uh, global we can able to access anywhere in the apex we can able to access mostly we will use in the integration uh, level functionality we will use and public we can able to access inside the class 
and outside and related classes we can able to access okay protected means we can access within the class and related class only we can able to access okay so i hope you have uh, understand the um, difference between these four okay thank you thanks for watching so we will discuss in the next video